surprise. Andrea talked us into it. <laughs> yeah, in two seconds. I think we should do it. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, more University Yums. Yeah, if you're just joining us, this is our third video in these outfits, and we normally do these on different days, but nope, we're doing it yeah, all in one night. If you night. watch the previous two videos, I bet that intro was really abrupt and very <laughs> Yeah, we don't care. What? We're tired. <laughs> it's only like seven. <laughs> it's eight, I think it's yeah. eight. It's eight. Anyway, it's Indonesia. It's Indonesia! We didn't guess that. We... I would never have guessed no. that. No. Surprise! I, I know nothing about this country, I apologize. I'm real excited for them Cheetos. Maybe they're as cool as the Philippines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Philippines are awesome. All right. Yeah. We're uh, starting with hot nuts. Is that this? Nope. Is it? I don't think so. It looks like Not what it looks like. Not what this. I mean, I was pretty sure nuts were going to be in here Maybe. somewhere. Well, yeah, I think this is just a different brand of hot nuts. This has to be it. Tic Tac Snack? Tic Tac Snack. This is Dua Kaling no, hot nuts. Oh, oh good it's, job, John. This is white. Okay. okay. That's our, our the picture in the book looks way different. It looks it, red. Maybe yeah. Ours aren't hot nuts, but that's what this is. Okay. All right. This guy. In oh, there's two eyes before it for some reason. Typo. In the 16th century, Spanish explorers brought peanut crop to Indonesia. The nuts quickly became a favorite plant because peanuts were easy to grow and very profitable to sell in Indonesia. As a result, peanuts are found everywhere in Indonesia, especially in the country's most iconic dishes. Ooh, those are not spicy. Those are maybe kind of wasabi-ish, but not. Oh, wait until you put it in your mouth yeah. just for that. I don't know what they are. I get I like a whole flavor that is. Almost a wasabi, but not. They're really good. They're not spicy like that suggests they're no. gonna be. No, they're not. We got the wrong flavor. Apparently. Yeah, I think these are just a different flavor. Garlic. I think they're just it's supposed flavor. see, it's supposed to say hot nut oven. What does this one say? Original? Original. This is the original flavored one. So they don't have the spicy ones, but those are really good. Kind of Essentially, what you're tasting is just real intense garlic. That's what the wasabi Gar is. Garlic or yeah, like a weird... Like yeah, it's raw, garlic. Like, or like raw peanut. They're, again, they're like crunchy stuff around a peanut. A peanut. Like we had in the... Some box. Thailand. Yeah. Bang Bang Chocolate Bar. A bang Bang? Um, it's yellow and it has a picture. Oh, it's this thing, I think. There's a nope, lot. that's not it. That's the creeps. Damn, there's that's a lot of stuff in here. Hang on. Yeah, hang on. We're, we're looking. That's it. Yeah, there's Bang Bang. Rice bang. is the essential Indonesian food it's served at every meal and even has three different names. When rice is in the field, it's called paddy. If it's being sold, it's called baris. And if rice is cooked and served, it's called nasi. Hopefully, I pronounced any of that right. Uh, when rice is baked, then covered in melted caramel and chocolate, like the Spanish chocolate bar, we have another word for it. Delicious. Thanks, uh, <laughs> Universal Yams, and your cheesy, <laughs> cheesy jokes. I didn't have to cover them myself. I've been trying to, like, avoid the cheesy jokes the last two episodes. It's like, a, it's like something I've had. It's like a cross between, like, those nice chocolate wafers, and then also, like, a Kind of like a crunch bar, but yeah. not. Like a Milky Way crunch bar. It's very bland, actually. Yeah. I still taste the nuts. Oh, yeah, that's good. I see something that's chocolate banana flavored, and I'm excited. They're crepes. Shh. Spoilers. Never said that over here. Spoilers, we're going for ginger cookies next. Ooh, look. We got a whole fucking box of ginger cookies. Damn. Which is good, because we all like ginger cookies, which is bad. We all like ginger cookies. Okay. Another thing for me to dip into coffee. John, do we have a lot of coffee? And John already has a lot of coffee. Yeah. John works at night, so he has a lot of coffee. I actually don't drink a lot of coffee when I'm at work, though. Like, actually at work. But I work from home, I do. I'm sorry. Yeah. They're rambling because I can't open this box. Oh, <laughs> She's like, I'm sorry I left you with these two. <laughs> yeah, hey, you... at least you're filling space as I try to fight my way into this box. You, fight you, it. You, you, you can do it. You got it? You got it? Follow oh, baby couch. That's awesome because a lot of things go bad in our, like, go stale in our. Because we don't eat a lot of sweets. This sort of stuff. There's exactly three. Good. Yeah. Thank you, Indonesia. Thank you. Did you mean have the broken one? They're all broken. Okay. Uh, not mine. They're very thin, by the way. Mine's they got like the, broken. they got like the Greek key around the edge. Yeah, I took a single architecture class <laughs> when I was at art school before I switched. These would be real good in coffee. Mm. I can't taste them though. I'm not 
The ginger's real kind of light, but good. It, it just warms your mouth. It doesn't, yeah. it's not overpoweringly ginger, but it, it feels like the cookie is warm. Mm -hmm. She's right. Very good shit. I, I'm not even the hugest fan of ginger cookies, <coughs> and this is really good. Is it a happy cookie? Yeah, I'm gonna set it aside and eat it later. That's really good. Okay, superstar, triple chocolate. We got a couple of those already. You know what's good? A chocolate wafer. You know what's better? A chocolate wafer filled with chocolate. You know what's the absolute best? The most amazing thing ever? A basket full of kittens. Ha, gotcha. You know what's second to that? A chocolate wafer filled with chocolate covered with chocolate. No, dog. Why do you do this to me, Universal like, Young? We heard you like chocolate, so we put chocolate on your chocolate. And in your chocolate. chocolate, so you can chocolate while you chocolate while you chocolate. It's more wafers. Chocolate. I like wafers. Uh, I, I like, I like wafers. Wafers were never my favorite. But when you want something sweet, and that's like a not candy, it. What? I don't do it for me. No, it doesn't. But when you, it's not a sweet chocolate. They get it bland. They're very dry. Mm -hmm. I like the idea of wafers because they're like a this candy would, bar that's easy to do. This would probably be good in coffee though. It's real dry. It'd be really good in coffee. The theme of this uh, month's box <laughs> is dip good in shit coffee. In coffee. Got coffee. Dip it. Momogi keju. Cheese stick. Oh wait, no, that might be the roasted corn. That's dipped this in coffee. This is the cheese. Yeah. This one. Will it dip? That's corn. That one's next. Okay. Swiss this cheese. is the cheese. It'll do. Let's not put it in coffee. <laughs> I thought about it and I was like, no, no, John. Will it dip? No. Hey, well, it'll dip. And this Should isn't dip. your average cheese snack. It's a made from real keju or Swiss cheese. Made from real kids. <laughs> real kids. I'm. It feels like a. Uh, like coffee uses as a straw. You could. Uh, yeah, it mm. crunches. It's it's yeah, it's like a Cheeto. It's really good, but again, it's the consistency of a puff Cheeto, not a Crunchy. normal Cheeto. Those are really good. Too sweet. I like sweet corn things, so it's a sweet cheesy corn snack. Yeah, the next one um, is the barbecue one. So so on it. I'm like eh, roasted it's all barbecue right. corn stick. Same thing, different flavor. Yeah. Which I'm kind of like. I'm not sure if I feel cheated or excited that we got two flavors. Here's a fun the same story. Thing. Oh, it's a fun story. Yep. When during the rainy season, the weather cools down in Indonesia, and sales of steaming hot grilled corn on the cob go up. India, Indonesia. Indonesia's secret for the perfect ear of corn: mm. margarine. Lots and lots of margarine. After loading up on the fake butter, it's then brushed with something that I'm not gonna try to pronounce, but it's basically a spicy sriracha style sauce. From there, it's grilled over the open flame and topped with chili, sauce, honey, or cheese before serving. That sounds like the Mexican corn sounds like they did. Uh, these things are stupid buttery good. They just taste like buttery sweet corn. Mm -hmm. Hope you didn't want another bite, because he just finished it. Fine. Those are I like really the other one. Hmm. Hmm, let's think of these. Ginger chews. Ooh, ginger juice, fuck yeah! Oh, I might like ginger. Yeah. <clears throat> we'll just call these miracle candies. Have a cough? The hot spicy ginger will soothe your throat. Stuffy nose? These will clear out your sinuses. Eat too many yums this month? This will clear a stomach ache. No appetite? You can put these in hot water and they'll dissolve into it and they'll Dissolve. dissolve into yummy ginger tea. Feeling terrific? No problem! Their chewy texture and potent flavor will make your entire- take your entire day up a notch. I think he's like... Hey, I've got one. Here, you have it instead. Let's take a tiny bite. They're wrapped in paper and then wrapped in more paper. paper. Yeah. Probably so, to keep them from sticking to the paper. Yeah. Some brands will wrap them in like rice paper so that if you can't get the paper off, you just eat it. Yeah. They're 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 squishy and they're covered in like powdered sugary stuff. No, it's usually cornstarch. Okay, they're covered in cornstarch. Good. Okay. They're not crazy hot. They're on the sweeter end of the um, of ginger chew. The candy. thing about ginger chews, though, is the more that you chew it, the spicier it gets. Mm, that's yeah. not bad. But that one's no, no, it's, it is on the sweeter end. It's good. I, but you won't. You also won't immediately taste the spice. Putting that in the tea would be good. Yeah. Let me get some ginger tea later. We didn't think this through. Mm-hmm. 
will be here a while. I should just skip this one and put it at the end. And then Nikki would kill me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, next is the Tic Tac Spicy Crackers. Okay. They're made from tapioca starch and a secret blend of spices. If you're looking for a way to add some flavor to your next cup of soup, you can always sprinkle these on top. It's That's what the good. Indonesians do. Oh, they use like oyster crackers, essentially. Oh, they're adorable. Oh, they're like bright orange. I still have the ginger in my mouth. They're very crunchy. pinpoint the flavor. I think they're just chili flavored. I'm still working on ginger. I'm sorry. I don't know. The initial bite was kind of uncomfortable for my teeth. It's almost too crunchy. I like them. I like them a lot. Then again, I haven't had actual crunchy things in a really long time. So, like that. They're okay. They're just okay. Chocolate banana crabs. Are you gonna uh, read about them, or are we just? Mm, I'm reading. Let's see. Uh, are you gonna share with the class? Uh, <laughs> this is based on a deep fried banana stack, snack that you can find in nearly every food stall in Indonesia. Bananas are covered in a sweet batter before being submerged in a vat of hot oil. After frying, they're topped with chocolate, condensed milk, jam, or in some cases, shredded cheese. This is loosely inspired by um, banana fritters. These chocolate banana crepes omit hot oil and replace it with a sweet, crunchy crepe. Inside, you'll find smooth banana and chocolate filling. You got a bunch of banana. Yeah. Which... Unfortunately, Fortunately, it tastes nothing like the artificial banana flavor we have in the US. It tastes like banana. It literally tastes like banana. It does taste like banana. That's good. And they're small and thin, so they're like real easy to eat. Just a couple. You could dip this in coffee. Yeah, you could dip that in coffee. <laughs> you could. Indonesia, dip that in coffee. <laughs> That's what uh, we should start doing with all of these boxes now. <laughs> Can, a cup of coffee. Can you dip it in coffee? Yeah, right. Will it dip in coffee? Remind yeah. me next time we get one, I'll, I'll have some okay. coffee handy and we'll just go for it. Rollies, these are next. Are they, are they? Roll. Richie's Rolls. Ooh, cheese roll. You've probably Wait. had a Pyroline wafer before. You know yeah. those wafers filled with chocolate cream or caramel? Um, these are filled with cheese. Yay. I don't know if that's true. And they're filled with Swiss cheese. I was right. Okay. Panini's like Swiss cheese. Yeah. Cool. You know what makes me sad? Starbucks doesn't have the ham and Swiss paninis anymore, oh. which were my favorite ones. Guys, guys. It's uh, the bastard child of a combo and those little brilliant cookies. That's what it is. Thank you. Mm. 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 It's It's really sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Again, it no. At all. You know what it tastes like? Really sweet cornbread. Yeah. It tastes like cornbread. She's right. If you eat more of it, you do get a little bit more of that real buttery cheese-ish flavor, but it's not really cheesy. It tastes like cornbread. It's pretty good though. Yeah. But yeah, it's definitely like a bastard child of a combo. <laughs> the other thing. Nano Nano Sweet and Sour Candy. Nano Nano? Neat. Maybe we gotta open one of these. I think so. It just says Sweet and Tangy Unique Flavor Candy. Oh, you should show the camera. Because I didn't. You guys don't need to see it, sorry. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's another package that's more packages inside of it. Oh, okay. Cool. Do you like sweet? Do you like salter? sour? Do you... Salter? Yeah. Do you like sweet? Do you like sour? Do you like salty? Now the ultimate question, do you like all of them mixed together? I don't know, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> it says, <laughs> the combination may not be for everybody, but one thing's for sure, you gotta grab your camera before you eat this. Tastes like vomit. <laughs> okay, but that's what uh, warheads taste like to me when you first put them in your mouth. 
I'm getting neither sweet, sour, nor salty. I'm getting salty. Maybe that's what he's doing the bottom for you, because yeah, it's... Am I going to get to another flavor soon, or is it just this weird salt thing? Yes, because apparently the sour flavor is supposed to hit you. I'm, uh, I'm not going to go that far with it. My uh, pouch is acting up. It's a little painful. So. As I throw trash at you. Alright, well, no more for you then. Oh, you guys suck on your candy and I'll digest. <laughs> it's not getting better. It's the like weird bland flavor is kind of going away. And it's starting to taste more like just not good. undescribable candy. It's not good. Wait, wait. Almost had a sweet bit there. No. No. Sorry. False alarm. It tastes like something, but I can't think of what, but it's like it tastes the way that something smells. And I can't think of what it is. <laughs> no. It kind of is sort of like the uh, the vomit jelly beans, though, and that they have like a sweetness to them. That is actually what I mean when I say vomit, the vomit jelly beans. Yeah, they're not as intense, but like if they was a really weak vomit jelly bean, sort of. Oh, I think I'm hitting the sour. Okay. The like, fact, like, the, you fact, have to the fact just... that we have to be like, wait, wait, I might be getting a flavor uh, is not a good sign for candy. Let's just put it that way. I I'm, could I'm probably waiting on this candy to be candy. I could probably eat these when like I'm really bored and we have nothing else in the house. And I just want to have like candy in my mouth. When you just want something in your mouth, but you don't want a flavor, you can just put this in your mouth. When the dick's not available. <laughs> I was gonna go directly there. But um, dick might have more flavor. I'm just just saying. Oh uh, Anyway. <laughs> So this is spread. This is actually cashew spread. Cool, I'll squeeze it in my mouth. Let's go. Yep. We can put it on our ginger crackers. No, I'm just no. gonna squeeze it in okay. my mouth. Can we get two tubes of it? Yep. That's fine. Inside. I'm, I'm kind of curious sometimes like, like how we get multiples of things. Again. It doesn't always make sense. Like, it like, is their packaging choice. Again, this is another package inside a package. <coughs> oh. Indonesia likes to like double package things. A lot. Yeah, because yeah, here it is again. This is a clear tube now, as opposed to a round tube. Yeah, we'll just if we can get it open, there's scissors in here. No, there's some in my room. But... Oh, like we're all just like vaguely staring <laughs> off camera. <laughs> Can't see the open fucking closet over here where we had these stored in. As if scissors would just appear if you stare longly into we the corners of the room. In here. I think those are the ones that are in my room now. How dare you! Oh, well, I've been using them for crocheting. Oh, for cutting my yarn. Like, Do you want Christmas presents or not? Crocheting with scissors? Look at that. Yeah. Well, I kind of got it a little open. Just squeeze it a little bit. Just get a little tiny bit. Oh. It's like sealed up until the paste. Hang on. Oh. Oh, you opened above the paste. Okay. I did. Well, I thought Damn. that made more sense. They don't want you to Just get bite down into the middle of it. Suck it out like I got hard. Yeah. This thing with the duck on it is next. Did you just... Hmm. Oh, that's really good. good. It's chocolate flavor. Tastes like Nutella. Yeah, it's kind of like Nutella. Alright, duck balls. It's Tastes got like Nutella. Huey, it's good. Yeah, duck. Huey and Louie's cousin Josh Huey. is making shit up now. <laughs> no. They're chicken cheese balls. <laughs> Yeah, chicken balls. Yeah, that's what I said. Chicken duck Made balls. by the same company that makes Lay's potato chips. Oh, you mean Lay's? These cheese balls <laughs> are one of the first packets. Of, no, I think... Mm, parent company, perhaps. Yeah. Um, Is that free? I don't remember who fucking Pepsi at this point. Question. These were one of the first packaged snack foods to arrive in Indonesia in the 1990s. Since then, they've become a household staple, well-loved by parents and kids alike. Well, yeah, they smell like they got crack them. Go choose balls, guys. Go choose balls. Yep, go choose balls. I make cheese balls. Yeah. <laughs> Stares at the giant container we have over there in the corner of cheese balls from Halloween. I pretend those don't exist. 
there's three of these. Mint! Mint barley. Oh, they trick you. Barley mint like, candy. Kiss mint and then like underneath around the edge of the wrapper it says barley. <laughs> Have you ever thought, mmm, I could really go for some barley right now? Nah, neither would we. That's not a good sign. I'm about to open it and the back is like, be strong. Like, you, can, says, you can do it. Mine you says, can oh, mine says, see you again. As if like I need encouragement to eat their candy. Fuck. <laughs> Ooh, hey, it's Listerine colored. Oh, good. Like clear. Oh, oh it is. Okay, if I can get it out of its packaging, I will try and show you guys. Oh, this is probably not gonna show up well on camera at all. Hang on. I can yeah, go. yeah. Take it up there and shine the light on it through it. Oh, oh God. I can't even open it. Oh! <laughs> oh God! Sorry. The face he just made is not encouraging. What? No, make your face again, John. No, it's just my face. I'm fat. <laughs> now, now since uh, we didn't get any of those faces on film, it's up to you, babe. It's up to you. It's not bad. It's just it, not what you anticipate. It looks like a blue Werther. It does. Yeah. Mm hmm. Uh huh. It's mint, but there's something else. Which uh, I'm guessing is the barley. It tastes like. It tastes... This isn't gonna make sense to you guys because you don't taste this, but lychee tastes like. Like the undercurrent of lychee tastes like this to me. Kinda. It reminds. It tastes like soap. As a kid. It does taste like soap. There was some medicine. That it take when I like was yeah. really sick or something, and it was like this sort of a flavor. Yeah. All it right. Me, it's a medicine flavor for me. Rose corn Cheetos. <laughs> Let's just segue the hell on out of that mess. <laughs> and it stays in your mouth. It does. It does not leave your mouth. Does it taste like medicine in your mouth? We've had these. But like Japanese style before. Yeah, we've had roasted corn Cheetos. They're actually like our favorite ones. My favorite ones. I'm they sure. taste the exact same as the Japanese ones. Yeah, if you ever happen to find like roasted corn flavored like snacks, like corn snacks or anything anywhere, buy them. They're fucking They're really good. good. I don't know why it's not a thing in the U.S. Yeah, we like corn. I don't know why. Yeah, I know, and it's real buttery. You think, well, cool butter. Let's do this. Not really eating good. that shit. And let's go. Yeah, right. it was good. So, you ready for the clue for next month's box? The clue. <laughs> the clue. We are looking for clues, clues. Okay. From Turkey to Thailand, we've traveled so much this year. Now let's end in the place of bratwurst and beer. Jeremy, done. It's the season of giving, If so if you're in a pinch, just share your box of yums. They won't call you a Grinch. No. I'm curious, because Germans aren't known for the sweets. So I'm anticipating a very savory box. That's what you hope for Russia, too. Yeah. You know, Russia sort of delivered it. They were more savory than a lot of the previous boxes. It's true. Like, this was real chocolate heavy. Yeah. Um, Russia's savory items just were odd, that's all. They were like the really bready rye things, which... The flavors were good, just the rye bready part in this mm -hmm. sucked. So, we'll, we'll see if Germany can do it a little bit better. Hopefully we'll actually get back on track now that we're back on track. Yeah. Yeah. We had a long period where, like, I've been in school and I they've been could working. I not eat this. Yeah, she couldn't it eat it. Was, it was forbidden by doctors. Now it's just highly recommended I don't. Stop so. me, I can't stop. They're so she good. likes those. Yeah. Mm. They're so good. Anyway, we will see you next month, hopefully on schedule, yeah. from Germany. From Germany. Yep. Hopefully Germany. But bye, guys. Gross. <laughs> hey everybody, this is J2A. We just want to say thanks for watching our video. We appreciate any and all support we get from viewers, new and returning. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again, and we'll catch you guys next time. Bye! Bye.